Yes, we're back, folks. We are back from Salbach in Austria for this week's EMBN show. We've got technology, we've got bikes, we've got lots of news, and we've also got a climb from the Squirrel Squeezer out in Canada. Well, the crew from Belfast, New Proof, have come out with a new version of their incredibly popular Megawatt e-mountain bike. Now, it comes in at 170 mil travel in the Comp Elite and factory versions, but the new flagship bike, the RS, comes with 180 mil fork and a few different components, mm. making it very much a gravity-based e-mountain bike. Um, usual suspects, Shimano EP8 motor, 630 watt hour battery, but Chris, new fork up front to take the hits. Yeah, got the uh, Rock Rock Zeb up front, but this, the difference between those stock bikes is that this is ramped up to an extra 10 mil travel, so giving a bit of a slacker uh, head angle going on that bike, purely aimed for going down the hill. And of course, out back, you've got that Rock Shocks Ultimate Coil on the back for taking all those bigger hits and making it a little bit more supple, possibly. Do you, do you run coils on many of your I bikes? I do like coils. I've got one on my Kini, well, I did. Mm. I did have one on the Kineva, but they swapped that out to the air shop. But I did used to love the uh, Olin's coil on the back of my bike. Yeah. Uh, other differences on, on the new Megawatt RS is the fact that they've actually got a Michelin tyres. Michelin. Uh, Michelin tyres from the Michelin. back. Is that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> they've got... Uh, <laughs> They've actually run it on SRAM as well, mm -hmm. as opposed to um, the Shimano drivetrain uh, on the on the other models in the range. There's some big brakes on this bike, 220 mil rotors on this front and rear, so you're gonna get that mm. ultimate stop in power, uh, and of course dissipating that heat really big on those huge descents. Yeah, what huge descents are those? Probably ones yeah. like that Chris was riding in Salbach exactly. last week. We'll come on to that in a minute. Mm. Uh, and one cool thing about about the Nuke Proof range, the Megawatt range, is actually the sizing on these bikes. That comes in five different sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, and XXL. XXL comes in 515 millimeter reach, Monster. which makes a great bike mm -hmm. for riders over six foot. So um, yeah, 29, 27.5 wheels as well, which I forgot to mention. And yeah, a proper gravity-based nice. bike for sure. Nice looking bike, black and chrome decals on there, costing 7,599 Great British Pounds. So yeah, nice. Okay, talking about watts, mm -hmm. uh, next up is a brand uh, from Chris Hoy. Now, mm -hmm. Chris Hoy, the famous uh, multi gold track cyclist. Um, this is the new Scarpa bolt on e bike kit. Uh, Chris, I think this is insanely cool. Yeah, I think it's super clean, this unit, isn't it? It's the battery, the motor, and all the electrics all in just one unit. We see those other kits that are a bit here, a bit on your handlebars, battery in your water bottle cage, things like that. But this is one clean unit, and it weighs in at 3.3 kilos. And it's just how clean it is. Clunk, click, put it on your bike, off you go. Sounds That's like awesome. you got the, uh, got the, the, the byline there. Um, three kilos, mm -hmm. but also there's 300 grams in the disc, and yep. that's how this motor actually works. You've got its own custom disc, which you mount onto the back wheel, and then, like Chris says, it's literally clunk click the kit, which, which is mentioned, has got the brushless motor in there and the 202 watt hour battery, which means you know a significant range on this bike. Mm -hmm. Weighs in, as Chris mentioned, at, at three kilos. But um, the simplicity of Chris, I think, is, is great. It yep. means you can you can very simply transfer transform your 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 road bike, your mountain bike, into an e-bike, whether it be for commuting. I mean, folks, we're not we're not we're not saying that this this is necessarily a bike for e-mountain biking, yeah. but I think for commuting, it's it's a it's a great solution. And you, you know, you can easily take it off and mm. put it in your backpack. And yeah, uh, yeah top work, folks. Absolutely top yeah. work. The I stats think. as well, I think, from that motor actually pumps out 15 newton meters of torque. Uh, and the range, as Steve mentioned, particularly if you just do that half hour quick charge, say for instance, you're out on a ride, stop for a coffee for half an hour, they say that this motor will actually give you 15 to 20 kilometers of range just in half an hour. So yeah, cool ideal stuff, commuter. And uh, as mentioned, around about a thousand pound mm -hmm. start price for this. Uh, Chris, back from Salbach, uh, what a location. It was amazing, wasn't it? Could yeah. have been better. I think the trails, the sunshine, the food, the beer, the nightclubs. We had an apple strudel mm -hmm. at the top of the second chairlift. I think it was all time. It was apple best. strudel. I mean, it's always with custard, right? Yeah. I mean, people be. have cream or ice cream, but apple strudel custard. Oh my god, game changer! Peppermint tea, and then drop into <laughs> probably some of the best trails that you probably ride in the world, isn't it? Straight into the uh, what was it? Hackleberg Trail. Hackleberg Trail yeah. was cool. Yes. But uh, folks, so good to hang out with you guys out there. Um, 
Yeah, having a few beers, mm -hmm. lovely fresh tarmac in the uh, in the in the race village there. Yeah, and yeah, we were blessed with fantastic weather. And a few shows and demos on the uh, closing ceremony as well. Mm. Ended up popping some beer cans, landing on them. Yeah, fun times. Do you know what, Chris? I'm not sure you should have been. Yeah, that's, that's know. that brew dog beer. It's it's wastage. Disgusting. Wasted. Wasting beer. It's a terrible thing to do. You could have necked them when we could crush the cans for you. But yeah, great time and I cannot wait to get back next year. I hear it's happening again. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So folks, get your diaries open and make sure that uh, you tune into the Global Bike Festival from Saddleback next year. Super easy to get to mm -hmm. uh, and plenty of accommodation and like Chris said, some of some you know truly outstanding trails to ride out there. And you get to meet Steve Jones, the man himself. <laughs> 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 right, now then. On a more serious note, Chris, work stands. Yep. E Billy work stand for people who spend a lot of time uh, looking and maintaining their mm -hmm. bikes. It is a bit of a faff, isn't it? Trying to balance your e bike in one hand and lift, you know, and clamp the bike into the work stand. No. If you, well, I don't suppose. If, if you, you use a work stand. If you use a work stand or do any maintenance, maybe. Well, I <laughs> do. I oil my chain, I check my nuts and bolts. Yeah, there's a bit more to it than that. Change my tyres. <laughs> but this stand. Bleed from my brakes. CBD, the E Billy work stand, is an electric lift, and this thing is simply mind blowing. Oh, and uh, it's got one button. Hold on, uh, simply... hold on. Did you just say a, a, a lift is mind blowing? An electronic lift, yeah, this is next level, <laughs> this one. <laughs> so, pretty much, you just line your bike up, put the seat post against the clamp, it's got a nice CNC head on there, press a button, one button, it lifts it up to your desired height. You can actually set the desired lift on this, um, and then you can simply manoeuvre the bike round. You can flip it even upside down if you're working on the motor. It's got a 360 head on Hold there. Hold on a minute, haven't we featured one of these stands from a company in Italy previously? Possibly, I, 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 know I think so. Topeak do one as well, but you have yeah. to give that a little bit of assist. But, but this folks, thing... they come at a price. Mm -hmm. They come at a price, this... $2,290. Mm -hmm. It's pretty expensive, isn't it? But, and that's excluding VAT as well, so. 40 kilo lift limit on there, but it's a nice bit of kit. If you've got the money, why Guys, not? Do you, let's know your thoughts on, on this. How do you actually maintain your e-mountain bike? Is it on a stand? Is it like on the ground? Is it on the kitchen table? Is it upside down? Um, lots of ways to do it. I mean, I think upside down is still a good way to do it, as long as you protect the display on the bike. Chuck in your handlebars. Folks, let's know your thoughts on mm -hmm. the e work workstand, um, as well as, uh, all the other news this Let's week. go out and about and see where you guys and girls have been riding then all over the world. Some great uh, images and video we've got this week from what you guys have been up to. Uh, first of all is this uh, grape bike with Bill and Bill is in the Grand Platier region of Mont Blanc which is um, I think not far from Chamonix, and uh, this it's a limestone region of of, uh, of Mont Blanc Massif, and um, wow, it's a great good location, Chris, isn't it? Two 700 watt hour batteries as well, so 1400 watt hours. Must be a big day out, and as you say, load of limestone. Is that a big slab I can see in the background That's a there? Big slab, big slab. Now oh. next up, uh, we're moving across the Atlantic, and this is Timothy, who's um, in a region called uh, the um, Tuck. Tak Tok Itna Mountains in Alaska. And uh, this is actually located in between uh, Anchorage and Denali National Park. And um, this footage here, which is uh, the early snow melts of the, of the season, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? It um, wouldn't look half place in a uh, old school New World Disorder movie. Some of those steep lines, it's pretty mm. pushing it, I think. It's pretty crazy to see that stuff yeah. being hit on an e-bike. I think this is the same guy that I remember doing some heli drops back in the, in the early days of the show. Yeah. So good to so, see. So Tim's on a, Tim's on a, a Zero Uno Adrenaline 3 bike. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, Tim, Tim thanks so much for showing us this. Yeah. this uh, can we come and visit? Can we come Fantastic. and visit? I mean, Anchorage, Anchorage is known for fishing uh, as well as uh, e-mountain biking. Some epic Big drone shots e as well. That's in. really cool, isn't it? Uh, last in Where in the World, we've got this bike in from Richie. He's got a Cube Stereo 160 out in the Lomond Hills in Fife in Scotland. Mm. Nice warm day exploring Lomond Hills in Fife. Uh, about 3,000 feet of yeah. climbing as well. Yeah, folks, we've had so much f uh, uh, images and footage from you guys over the last few weeks. Sorry we can't uh, feature them all on the uh, on the channel every week, but uh, please send them in. We will get them out on, on there. And uh, how about we all go and join Timothy out in Alaska? Cool, would not it? Now, one great way to support the channel is by visiting the EMBN shop. Two new colours in T-shirts. We've mm -hmm. got a new... 
uh, a new green and a very cool new red colour. It's more like a scarlet colour. Obviously, coming from Wales, scarlet is uh, is a favourite colour. There's a wide range of uh, technical clothing in there as well. We've got all the tech t-shirts, got the race jerseys, and of course, short socks. Pretty much everything to kit you out in there, isn't it? Yep. Check out EMBN Shop. Uh, folks, coming out on the channel this week, Chris is doing a video on things that can fail on your EMTV. It doesn't happen often, but it can from time to time. Uh, and then on the weekend, we have got the EWS uh, racing from Valberg. Some very, mm -hmm. very cool racing so far this year, Chris, isn't yeah, it's there? It's getting close, isn't it? Exciting, all that e-bike racing. Yeah, we're going to get you, get you on, the, on the power stage I soon. I think we need to both get out there ahead and do a, a team, <laughs> team race out there for sure. Well, I think uh, last year, probably finale, one of the hardest things I've ever done on two wheels, nine hours. Hours, 10,000 feet, but on like, uh, yes, yeah, was that your finale though? Or not? There's more to come in the tank, I think. This man's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, folks, on Sunday, we have got the first part of our visit to Fazua Motors in Munich. Uh, we've got some hot new bikes which are, will be sporting their motors in this year coming out, uh, coming out quite soon actually. But a massive in depth look at the brand who, as we mentioned recently, have been bought out by Porsche. And uh, Chris, it was a great visit. I mean, so good to go behind the scenes. I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got hidden away in that factory. Should be good. Yeah. Well, as promised, folks, we have got Christine, or Christine, and a slabalicious climbing, in her own words. Uh, but Christine, Christine, I say Tyne because the name is spelled T-Y-N-E, as in Tyne side. Mm -hmm. Is it teen? You don't call it teen side, do you? Christine, I think. Christine. Or oh, the squirrel Christine. squeezer. Yeah, Aka, Aka the squirrel squeezer. And this is out in Pemberton. Christine, thanks so much for sending these videos in. Absolutely love it. We will get out to see you. Definitely. We will get out to see you in, in BC at some point. Don't know when it will be, but we will be there and we look forward to you showing us around these uh, amazing climbs and slabs that you've got yes. in that part of the Climb world. Climbing slab is pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty technical to get into it. A couple of big rock steps and into that pretty big old slab of, uh, what was that limestone, Steve? That ain't limestone, Chris. That's not limestone. If that was limestone, Scott, I think it's Scott climbing Scott, it. Yeah. Scott would not be going up that limestone. And just good technique on the power, got that weight in the right place, creams it pretty easy. Nice work. Mm -hmm. Keep all that stuff coming into us here on the show. Use the upload service. The details for that are down below. For all your pictures, videos, anything you want to feature here on the show. I'm trying to think what rock it is. I can't see, can't see in depth there. I'll have to go there myself to find out. Okay, folks, uh, some comments from Chris's monster jump video. Uh, it's the first one from R. Tate that says, Chris, if I saw you in the street, uh, I would swear you were a, an, account an accountant. Yes, I wouldn't uh, disagree with that. Uh, the segment says, I just got a decal not long ago and I feel uh, good jumping it so far. At speed, the bike feels smooth. Chris, the, your bike wasn't de restricted, was it? No. Looking at me over your glasses like. Just saying, just saying, just saying. No. Uh, Neil Ellison, big jumps. I mean, they were big, weren't they? Mm. they were you really scary scary. at all? Yeah, it was very scary. I nearly actually, this is truly, I nearly rang you up to say, I'm not sure I'm actually going to do this video because I turned up there and it's been about 10, 15 years that I've hit jumps that are that big mm. at that speed. So uh, uh. good to tick it off the list. And uh, yeah, there's probably about 10, 15 people trying that line that day and only one made it to the bottom with me. Really? All those guys. Wow. And what was that jumping. person's name? Uh, he was one of the factory uh, Kona guys, Caleb Caleb Honkolo, Honkolo or something his name is. Excellent. Like so, I said, uh, mm. good job you're not an accountant, eh, Chris? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's the time of the show to see where you guys are going to get a nice or a super nice is on your pride and joy. What we've got first, Steve? First up is a Rocky Mountain Altitude mm -hmm. Power Play with mods. Chris King, Stan's Wheels, GX and uh, a reverb. I like it. I like it. I like the bike. I really like the bike. You do. It's got to be super nice. Super nice. Next up we've got Andrew, he's got a Fantic Integra XF1 out in Canic Chase on a nice sunny afternoon. What do you think of that shot, Steve? Bit of a different perspective. Low and up to you. It's your call, that one. That is nice. Um, but what about this uh, pole from the pole? Oh, Polly from Polly. Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul's got a Polly, and the Polly's down the Jurassic Coast. I really like the Jurassic Coast. Um, 
I love the look of this bike. A lot of gold going gold, on. Gold, really. Gold pedals, Kashima really? gold, gold stem. Just that swing arm on that bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're on the fence, as well as the bike being on a park bench. Oh, on the stanchion, possibly, I think it's it? the park bench that says... Stanchion, the, the park bench. cut out slightly. Mm. Tonight, tonight. Uh, next up is uh, feeding the ducks at Rother Valley Country Park near mm. Rotherham, obviously. This is a rock rider, ESC900. I love these bikes from uh, Decathlon. Mm -hmm. Good value, Great aren't value, they? 1,400 quid. Mm -hmm. Boom, sorted. Uh, Keith, thanks so much for sending that shot in. And that gets you a super nice for sure. Nice, oh, got a bit of Buttercup action going on from Gareth. He's out What's in... up, Buttercup? <laughs> he's on a sneak fruit mega watt out in uh, Aberdeenshire. Out, out in where, though? Benachy, 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 Benachy. First blast on his new uh, e-mountain bike, absolutely loving it, and I'm loving that shot too. Super nice. And the next shot is a stoop, a super, stupa. super nice, Patrick. Patrick, your simple on steamer is is stunning because you've taken the perfect shot. I mean, mm. it's it's got everything. The trees aren't cutting through the bike. You can see the frame clearly. The light is beautiful on it. And you've, you've got a Steve nicely. Jones stick Steve holding Jones the bike stick, up as well. Yeah. I like that on the, uh, on the nice, dropout. Nice. I've got a trademark on this thing. <laughs> it's a super nice, yeah, for sure. John's got a specialised turbo Levo comp John. out in the Campion Hills BMX track. John, John. Lem Lemonton Spa. Bit of shadow. Bit of shadow, bit of light. Mm -hmm. Try to get it in one or the other, I think. It's a nice. Uh, next thing, is this a zoo shot? Or oh, LA? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the water tower on top of Turnbull Canyon in East Los Angeles County. This is where Tinky Juarez trains. Really? Yep. Bit of a colour clash, isn't it? It's bit nice. Of, bit of black. It's yeah. nice, but the next one has got to be super nice. Chris, Shelly, Lafayette, Overvolt, AM 6.6, 2.1, more Serps, more Small. And this Dartmoor. is in Plymouth. Alan Darmo, I think that's where you went over the handlebars on those rocks in the background. You can't leave it like, can't let it lie, can you? You cannot let that one lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that wraps it up with a super nice, isn't it? And that's the last bike in the bike box. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got any bikes, any videos, use that upload service. Uh, and that is the end of the show What's too, isn't up, it? Buttercup. Uh, folks, let us know what you think about the new Nuke Proof Megawatt mm. RS and please get the uh, Global Bike Festival booked into your diary for 2023. And watch for there. Check out our merch shop and we shall see you next week. Bye-bye.